back at it again with another video and I feel so awkward. Today we're doing some fluffy pancakes. You know why? Because it's 8 p.m. So anyways, I'm going to do fluffy with Japanese pancakes because I'm Japanese and I want some fluffy pancakes. As Amy, it's Amy fashion, um, there's a lot of things that I don't have. 3.5 inch metal ring, don't have that. I do have these little tiny cake things, so I can just take the middle off, close this up, abracadabra, you got a circle. Um, so anyways, let's get started. If you're not used to me being very chaotic and very aggressive to most things, then you're probably new here. Okay, mix together egg yolks, sugar, milk, pancake mix in a very large bowl. Don't have that, I have a small bowl, so we're just gonna have to improvise. We're gonna separate the egg from the white because we don't want no egg whites, we want the egg yolks. This is a really thick, no, no. You know, if you filter out the yolk from the white, it works and clean. Well, let's hope it turns out fine. So anyways, because we need to use these whites later. Just swivel around the yolk and like that, there we go. Beautiful yolk. Sugar, milk, and pancake mix. Boom. Have a cup of milk. One, two, I don't want the flipping cup. Three, three. I only need three. Oh my God, that would've been bad. Get this pancake mix out of here. We don't need her anymore. Goodbye. That's it, now we mix it until smooth. I've seen the measurements, the serving size, because we don't want to repeat of last time. This is what happens when you don't read before you make videos. This makes 20 pancakes. It says serving size of four, so I don't know if that means four pancakes or that means four people, and I don't know how many pancakes four people like. Half like teens. I'm not, I'm using uh, this, I'm not using another bowl. Beat egg whites with a hand mixer until stiff peaks form when lifted. Okay, so here is two of the egg yolk, not yolk, white. So we don't want no yolks. So now we need another one. Why is it so scary every time I break an egg? And now we beat into stiff peaks. So we all know how to do that, right? Oh, I forgot, I didn't plug it in. So now we beat until stiff. I'm doing it the highest setting so it goes faster. Turning it off. These seem like soft peaks, so they're not stiff yet. Let's keep on aggressively whipping this. Okay, so now I have it everywhere in my arms and stuff. Now that, I'm not sure if you can see that, looks pretty great. Also what you can do, I think I'm just hurting my machine, I'm so sorry, um, is flip it over and it's not falling off, so that means that the meringue is pretty great. This is the scary part, because I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Carefully fold the egg whites into the pancake batter until incorporated, make sure not to deflate the batter. Okay, I have a spatula. We are going to scoop half of the meringue. Wow, that is so fluffy, look at that, it's jiggling. That's half of this. Now, we do not want to deflate it, so we're gonna fold very gently. And you might be like, Amy, this makes no sense. And you're definitely doing this at home. But basically, after like 50 times of folding, you'll get there eventually. Soon after. Now that we did that, we do the other half. Oh, this is scary. This is not looking thick at all. We should not trust Tasty. Tasty is always kind of scary to uh, have recipes and try them out because it's like one, two, three, go. So it's either gonna be super bad or like somewhat okay. Fill the mold about three fourths and then cover the pan, cook for 10 minutes until center of the pancake is slightly jiggly. Release the pancakes from the bottom of the pan with a spatula then flip them over, make sure not to spill any batter inside. That seems very difficult. Let's uh, put you over there. Hey, I can't close my freaking pantry so you're just gonna have to see my pantry. But anyways, we have the butter. I was not ready for this. Um, I was just rushing. So, oops. I can't find any uh, cooking spray. So we're just gonna do butter because we should trust all butter, butter always. I know what I'm doing, for sure. And I'll do that. And now we fill it up. Three fourths. Like, what do I cover it with? I don't have anything. Yes, because this makes sense. 
Or is that bad? There we go. It's really frothy. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, I should get a plate. Let's choose a plate. Plate. I'm gonna get a big spatula. How do I flip it over without hurting the pan? It says medium low heat. I feel like doing that, it's not gonna cook the center. It's just gonna cook the top and the bottom. This is not working. Even though I haven't even flipped it. I'm scared. 10 minutes. That's a lot of minutes. Okay. When did I start? I don't think I started 10 minutes ago. Wait, is it cooking the bottom? Should I flip it over? Should I just check? I'm not being impatient. I'm just checking. I'm just checking, I promise, guys. Oh, I'm not gonna move it because it's literally slipping through the thing. I don't know how I'm gonna flip this. You know what, I'm being impatient. pan because it almost like burnt but it already did so this is the situation it's burnt so I'm not gonna take it out of the thing because I don't because it's gonna be really funny when I take it out so anyways I'm gonna turn off this I'll turn on the stove actually and we're gonna do this again I filled it halfway up not like all the way up just halfway because I feel like if I filled it up all the way that would be bad and it would not work. So we're just gonna do halfway, close it up. Or should I just leave it open? I'm gonna leave it in the air, open. We're gonna smell the fumes together. We're a team. That is charred. Um, I'm gonna t show you the syrups I have. Butter flavored syrup and this fancy $2 syrup. You see, it's already cooked at the bottom. So I'm just gonna flip it over right now. I'm gonna do something else. Okay, do this. It worked a little bit. This is what we're working with. So the top cooked, but like everything else did not. I would say that this recipe from Tasty is a fail. Tasty, you are misleading. I give up. I'm gonna take it off because it's not gonna work. I give up. We're gonna do a whole big pancake. And then we got the charred one and we got the whole big pancake. Oh my God. Freaking hold. This is probably worse than the Hannah Montana one. Not gonna lie. The Hannah Montana one, I just made too many. And this one is just not turning out correctly. I'll finish this cooking and then we'll go to our seating area and then paste test all of them. Um, we have three different versions of the same thing. Basically, uh, really badly made. Um, this one that's still in this. Uh, the one that literally fell um, off and is weird. Um, and then I tried to make the normal one, but then I burnt it. So, same thing, different version. Now we have our, uh, this I'm also recording on my phone that is about five feet away from where I'm actually recording. So, it's just gonna be an interesting time for both of us. A little wiggle woggle. Get off. Honestly? Oh. This is what it's supposed to look like um, in, in, um, in the context of it's burnt, no, in the content, context that uh, it's uh, not cooked all the way, no, in the context that it did not stay in this shape, no. I mean, I will just give it like a 5 out of 10 just because of shape. Um, only on shape, everything else would be a 0. I, I'm, I'm scared I'm going to get food poisoning from this. So, I'll, it's, everything's the same thing. So, I'm not sure if I need to try it, but I'll try it just in case it's different. But uh, here is, it's a kind of spongy, not gonna lie, like that. And we're gonna dip it into some good old fashioned maple. It tastes like a pancake, nothing special. Let's dip it on this one. Butter flavored syrup, it's, it's too like, Oily? I don't like it. Uh, next is this one. So I tried and then it did not work. It looks like an omelet. It's not an omelet. It's really dense. It's thick bread, basically. Um, there's nothing I like about this. And then next and finally, 
I did the basic old pancake with the pancake mix that is supposed to end up like this. So in comparison, uh, it, it did not, it tastes like I'm eating a sponge. Don't ask me why I know what that would taste like, but it just feels like that's what it would be like. My least hated, um, it would be the throne because it's airy, it's uh, thick, it bounces. Look at that, it jiggles. It's second would be thick, and then third would be thick but airy, you know? Yeah, there's nothing much to say. Tasty.com, is that what it is? I don't know. Why, why? I hope you liked this video. If you did, please get a like or subscribe. I am not forcing you to do anything, but I would very much truly appreciate it if you did, because every time I post a new video, it's interesting because usually people are like, Amy, you still post? It's been two weeks and you still post. So if you want a lot of that, give it a, uh, give it a subscribe. I just, what happened? Give it a subscribe, maybe you like this video. I don't know, recommend it to your friend. Be like, oh my God, this chick is kind of annoying, but like, you know, still funny. And I hope you have a nice day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. And I'm not making any promises about a uh, consistent upload schedule because I have a chance for a new year, so we'll see.